guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Agnes, and today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new Brother PRS100. Come on, guys. I'm taking a look first at the box. I mean, it's pretty big. Um, it came with a free stand, which we're going to look at really quick. Uh, this is the stand that it came with. Um, this one that I got was actually pre-assembled. Uh, so as you can see on the top, it has brackets that wrap around the feet. Uh, once it's actually on the table to lock it in, it has it on opposite corners. Also, in the back of the machine, the uh, back of the cart, it has two locking wheels, which you can lock, and it also has adjustable fee feet for stabilization. Also, along with the cart came uh, these little wire things that go on the shelf here. You just insert them just like so, and that's what they look. So it comes with three of those, and it also comes with these hooks that go on the side. They just hook right in um, to the side of the cart. So I assume you can use that to hang hoops um, and any other supplies that you may have that are um, hanging. Also, it comes with a bracket so that you can um, hang the hat attachment and um, hang the hat attachment when you're actually putting the hat on the hoop. Okay, right on top of the box when you first open it, um, it looks like there is a user manual. Um, this looks like kind of like a printer cord uh, type deal. Um, here are the hoops that come with the machine. There's the hoop, then this size hoop that comes with it as well. And then um, this looks like the arm here that goes on the machine. And then power cord. And then it comes with this nifty little box of supplies. It looks like oil, scissors, um, some other things you need to kind of get started. My son, who found his crocodile Dundee knife to help me get into the box um, because the machine is massively heavy and um, you can't lift it out of the box. So this was our plan to get into the box. So on one side of the box, when you open up the side, on the side, this is where they package all of the, looks like the really small hoops, um, you know, for the little bitty things, I guess, that you would um, put on items. And then on the other side of the box, it looks like, um, oh, this is, looks like the thread, uh, part of the thread holder that goes on top of the machine. So they package it kind of funny but that's okay. Okay, so we got the top styrofoam off and so this is the situation that we have here. So we're gonna pull the plastic and ta-da! There's my baby. She's out of the package almost. All right guys, so we got her all set up. That was the feet. We locked in um, these little places on um, the stand here just to make sure that it's stable and uh, this is the garbage that we've kind of left in our wake along with some large pieces of styrofoam on the other side of the room. Okay, so um, I got the arm on. Um, I may take it off and show you guys again how I put it on there. And then I, I have the thread guide that is supposed to be attached up here in the machine that um, it comes with a screwdriver included for you to complete this task. So I'm going to get that done and I'll be right back with you. So I got the thread guide installed and um, it gives you instructions next on how to install the hoop frame that comes with the machine. And um, I installed that you have to remove these little nuts from the frame as it comes out of the packaging and then attach the frame to the machine and then screw these back in. Um, it was pretty easy to install. Um, I just put the power cord in and I'm about to turn it on. All right, guys, I got it turned on. 
and I got my first shirt hooped and I have just I have a simple design chosen on my screen and um, I guess I'm about to start let's see so so let's hit lock And then oh, hit lock again. And I guess you hit this button. Oh, it said check upper bobbin thread. I must have done something wrong. So as you can see, I still got quite a mess behind me. Uh, there is my machine. Um, she's still on. I'm probably going to use it a little bit more uh, this evening to try and familiarize myself with the machine. Um, but if you're looking for more content like this and other videos about my journey and how I got started, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.